Greenville. The game that some people don't like because of the amount of grinding you have to do to make money and the amount of time it takes to make money. But what if I told you it doesn't have to be about the grinding? What if you could own a house like this, even though you don't really have to buy them, and a car like this? What if you could own multiple cars like this? Well, today I'm going to show you guys how you can do that, actually. So. This new strategy is uh, something I've picked up and figured out myself. Um, it's using the Tiny Task application, which I did use for the last video, which if you haven't seen it, I'll have it up there. Um, but it's still using the same Tiny Task application. I'll leave the link to the Tiny Task down below. But wouldn't you guys like to all own a car like that and like this? And multiple other cars that cost thousands and thousands of dollars to get. I mean, look at this. This is like, this is my entire collection. And I got 16,000 and I'm going to buy some more cars. Wouldn't you guys like to do that? Well, today I'm going to show you guys actually how to do that. And uh, it's not as hard as you guys would actually think. So first things first, which we what we want to do is we want to uh, go to the dealership. So let's see. Uh, please don't spam. Yes, okay, we're over here. Sweet. So what you want to do is... Let me get Tiny Task open. Alright, here is Tiny Task. So, okay, Tiny Task kind of closed. Uh, but what you can do with Tiny Task is... If you get a server, which this only really works with servers that have only four cars or less. But if you get a server with four cars, join the Roadmap Dealership job. And then once you join the Roadmap Dealership job... I want you to try, and this is going to be a hard occurrence, but you have to get the AI to walk up to a car, and you have to be recording Tiny Task at the same time, too. Um, so let's say with these four cars over here, uh, all right? So let's say I'm recording Tiny Task right now. All right, we're going to come up to this car, right? The AI is going to come over here. We're going to uh, wait for the AI. And the AI does come over here like now. We'll give it a second just in case if the AI sometimes takes a little bit longer. So S standard silver ocean. Then we're going to remember that. S standard silver ocean. We're going to go back to the dealer while still recording on Tiny Task. And then we're going to go punch in the stuff uh, for the AI. And then we'll see if we can get an AI to go a different car. I'm not going to, I'm going to switch my job because I really don't want to, because uh, that's going to be hard, especially because there's like so many, so many cars. But, uh, 2015 Raven S, uh, I think standard silver five and, uh, ocean blue. I don't remember. Okay. The fact that I remembered. Okay. So now let's say that's already happened. I'm still on the, the same job and we get an AI to come over here. Say there's only four cars still. We wait, we get the AI to get this car, we go back in, get the same thing, then the AI comes over to here, we do the same thing that we did for the first two, and then we come over here, get the AI to come over here, do that same thing with the last one. And then, stop recording. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set Tiny Task up so that it'll go to the first car, so let's say the AI goes back to the first car, it'll go to the first car, which is that car over there, and it'll wait. If the AI is not at that car and it's maybe at this car, it, the AI, the uh, tiny task will still walk you back over to there. But it will not put anything in. But when it comes back out, it'll come to this car, grab the AI, and then go back into there and put. So since this is the best ma money making job in Greenville, uh, a way to make it actually AFK grindable, I'll say that, is smart. Um, now, if you could get a server with just two to three cars in it, um, yes, I've gotten a server with two cars. Um, yeah, it'll come over to here. Let's say the AI comes back over to here. And then Tiny Task will go over to here. It'll go bring back over there, bring back over there, bring back. But when it gets here, it'll finally bring the AI back and get you your $950. So that's one way you can AFK grind. Now, another way that I think is a good way is to come into the dealer, join the Allen Insurance job like I am, and then what you want to do is you want to come back here maybe or somewhere, maybe somewhere in like a closet um, at a house or something, 
But what you want to do is, let me get my tiny task up. Uh, what you want to do is get tiny task open. And don't forget to do this for any job. Any job. It does not matter. Anything. If you're going to go AFK, you got to put continuous playback. If you do not put, put continuous playback, it will not continue playing it. And it'll do it one time. And it'll kick you after 20 minutes. So do that. Continuous playback. Then you want to go see what your recording hotkey is. So for me, it'd be Shift F8 because I don't have an F8 key. All right. Tiny Task is now recording. So what you want to do is you want to just go back and forth and back and forth. And then occasionally after a little bit, what you want to do is just because it will kick you just by going back and forth, you want to occasionally like click your mouse. Um, and then you can continue going back and forth. Because if you don't click your mouse, it might kick you after 20 minutes because it'll say that you are not there because you're not clicking your mouse um and i can see why you know when i play you know you got to click the mouse to spawn the car you know you got to click it for the cruise control all this and that so when you're happy with the recording you got you press shift f8 or whatever your recording hotkey is and then you're going to go, if you haven't already, put continuous playback. Then you're going to push play. And then you're going to click on Roblox. And as you can see, it's doing that. Um, now, I do suggest if you like the recording you have to press save. Uh, I didn't press save because I don't like it. But I also suggest pressing save. It'll save it to a folder. And you can continue to use this recording whenever you want. Uh, so let's say you need to really quickly go AFK because you got to go in like a minute. You just quickly... Press open, you grab the recording from your file, and then you press play, or you go to here, press continuous playback, and then press play, and you'll be fine. You, you, it'll take less than a minute. So, it's a really it's a really good way to grind. This works with any job, it just cannot be an interactable job, because interactable jobs are randomized, and the only job to really grind, that you can like grind as an interactable job, would be roadmap dealership worker because roadmap dealership worker ai's in a general area you don't have to um the, there's no money amounts that you have to vary um you, you know it's it's a lot easier and that's the only job that you can really do that with because the money doesn't vary each time um the car doesn't really vary each time because it'll always be the same four cars it won't be it uh you know a random it it won't replace the car after someone buys it it'll keep the car there you know so that's why the roadmap's the only one you can really grind um you can also do the grinding strategy that i did show last time but you would really want a fuel efficient car for this and um you would have to continue coming back to refuel your car but which oh my goodness you gotta be kidding me uh whatever but you can do like you can set your cruise control to like 55 ish and um have your your car go back and forth in a certain area but the problem with that is the fuel you know if you don't have a very fuel efficient car if you just really need car um it's you're gonna need to refuel um even if it's an electric even a, you know it doesn't matter it's gonna need to be refueled so i suggest definitely um not doing that strategy unless you really really must and you can't get tiny task to work on like other two um because after a little bit you will stop grinding uh on with the car so maybe occasionally have it to where like you'll drive you'll slow down you'll jump out and then you'll walk back and forth and then get back in the car for a little bit and if the car stops working and you can't turn it on you know just it'll like it'll still act as if you're driving but then in maybe like five minutes, you get back out and then you go back and forth, back and forth, click the mouse a couple times, you know, then get back in kind of thing. That would be something I would suggest to do also because that it, just in case if your car does run out of fuel, that would be a good alternative just in case if it does. Um, and with the driving, I also suggest that you get uh, a non-interactable job because it'll pay you 650 each minute also. So you'll get whatever you get from driving and if you if you stop driving um then it'll just depend on your 650 per minute for five minutes so those are the best grinding strategies that i suggest you use um as they they can work really well uh i have a friend red one and i'll see if i could get a picture of some of his car collection but i, I taught him how to grind 
just last week. I'm not even joking. Just last week. Uh, and he's already owning a... F he's got a Ford GT. He's got the Ford Raptor Baja. He's got a Mercedes AMG C63 or something like that. Um, I'm trying to think of the other car he has. But he's got some really... Oh, he's got the Jeep Trackhawk, the Heen Trackhawk. He's got pretty expensive cars, and those are not even all of them. He's got some more expensive cars, but those are the ones that I remember. And the Ford GT is five hundred thousand. Um, the Trackhawk, I think that's I don't even know a hundred thousand ish. Uh, the uh the C sixty three, I don't know, but that's probably about a hundred thousand ish, and you know he's just got really expensive cars, and this is all after just one week of grinding. One week of grinding. And he what he does is he puts his computer on at night and he grinds. And so even at night, just doing an interactable... Not interactable. Interactable job or just a regular $650 job, which is what he's doing, the $650 job, um, can still make you millions. If he sold every car he had right now, he'd probably actually have enough to get a career in GT. And just know, I found this strategy out after I already had gotten these... Uh, the two most expensive cars in my collection, the Surrey Speedlet and the Panini Ostro. But if uh, if I would have had this strategy, I would have been so happy. This is the strategy I use now, and um, watch, in a couple weeks, I'll probably have a Carrera GT. That's if I don't spend my money on other random cars. But, you know, this strategy works really well. I mean, it, I don't, it's just... It's something I found out by myself, uh, because I thought, hey, if I might as well be a, if I have to go somewhere, I might as well try to make some money out of it, even if it's just 650 every five minutes. Go to bed for, like, 12 hours, let's say that. Five times 12, and then, it, or no, 650 times 12. No. Oh, no, just do the math. You'll, you'll figure it out. Uh, but, point being... Actually, I think you just do 5 times 12, then 650 times, uh, whatever the answer is, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, I do, I do suggest trying these strategies, because these strategies can make you millions in, in, like, a week. So, you know, I mean, they're, they're really useful, they're really useful, um, I wish I had known this, I wish I had thought of this before I had actually, um, grinded painstakingly for the other cars, but hey, at least I know it now. So now I can grind uh, non-painstakingly for a Carrera GT, maybe a $5 million Tesla, um, you know, whatever other sports cars, hypercars they got in the game, a Ferrari F40, you know, we'll see. But this is an easy way to make money for limited uh, hypercars, anything you want is the easy way to make money for it, and I suggest buying it. Not buying it. Um, getting Tiny Task. Uh, Tiny Task is free. I'll have the link to it down in the description below. Uh, I think the other video, which you're gonna have to watch the other video because I don't have the website pulled up. I'm not going to because I don't remember where it is. Um, but watch the other video and it'll ha have a little tutorial on how to install Tiny Task. Um, but you want to install Tiny Task, uh, and then once you install Tiny Task, which is a very quick, easy setup, um, you can start grinding. And, you know, let me know how much you guys make. Uh, join my Discord server and let me know how much you guys make. Uh, I'd love to see how much you guys make. So next time I do a grinding video like this, I could show you guys, um, or another video, I could show you guys uh, how much people have made from that strategy. Because it's an awesome strategy. Absolutely awesome strategy. So, I want you guys to try this and let me know how much you guys make off of this. But I think that's going to be all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, and if this video did help you out, then please leave a like and subscribe. It does help me out. And then don't forget to join my Discord down below so you can let me know uh, how much you make off of this and how successful you were. And also, so you know when I post new videos like this one, join my Roleplay Discord too. I do host sessions in Greenville, which will uh, sometimes include grinding sessions too, which... It means you can use Tiny Task or you can drive around, and the sessions will not close uh, until you're ready to leave. So, also join my roleplay Discord and get some merch. But I think with that, everyone, have a great day, and I'll see you guys again next time, and I hope this works for you.